How's it all again? Coming up on High Now, we are just steps away from the water. We are checking out one of Oahu's most popular seafood restaurants. Nico's at Pier 38. We're going to give you a little teaser for what's to come moving forward. Okay, Nico, as soon as the pandemic started, how did you guys adjust here at Nico's? What was happening? It was really challenging for us. We had three locations, Toro's, Nico's Gateway, Nico's Pier, and then Nico's Upstairs. We had to stay open, obviously, as much as possible, and take out only for this location and then for Nico's Gateway. We did had to shut down at Nico's upstairs location. And retail could stay open, <laughs> not the restaurant side. So we really survived all of our fish market. Okay, Nico, and because uh, the fish market operates differently than the traditional restaurant, that's what allowed it to stay open throughout that time, exactly. right? It was really, really tough to try to manage all that. But at the end of the day, we had product coming from the ocean right there, the fish auction. The fish auction never shut down, they stay open. Fish was coming in, Customer was asking for fish, and well, that's why we, we use that, that store to be able to give it to them. We're hoping that the worst of it is behind us. Fingers yes. crossed for yeah. that. It's fast. <laughs> yeah. As you continue to overcome the challenges, yeah. though, Nico, the restaurant is back reopened now, right? Back reopened, yeah. It's, it's all the chairs are back. <laughs> all the tables are back. We did online ordering, and then we did also two-go cocktails. <laughs> Because people wanted the drinks. Perfect, yeah. We've been missing the cocktails and we were allowed to do it. We did extend it on Lanai. And basically, we extended the Lanai by 25% more capacity. Awesome. Let's head outside. Let's check out this new Lanai. We extended it and put a new cover on it. It's totally waterproof and it gives a brand new experience to the customers. Speaking of outside, another thing we did during COVID, I did get a lunch truck, a Nikos mm -hmm. lunch truck. Oh, okay. So, same thing, trying to get out there, try to go to the, to the people instead of have them come here and not feel comfortable with mm -hmm. the COVID rules. How can people get information about the food truck and where the food truck is going to be and all, all that? All that is supposed to be on the social media, uh, Instagram and Facebook. What's on the horizon? What's to come for Nico? First of all, we have a fish market, a hickam, mm -hmm. on base. And this fish market should be open in the next couple of weeks. We got our music program coming by, live music at the restaurant, at the pier, live music in Kailua. We have also a new cocktail menu coming up, new drinks. Cocktails and live music, they just go hand yeah, in hand. Yeah, you know, something is coming up, just, just don't say too much thing about okay. it. But uh, anyway, um, I'm sure you can explain what it is, but uh, that's right there, basically. Oh, so possibly the, the return of Nico's upstairs. The return to Nico's upstairs. <laughs> Big, exciting things happening at Nico's. We're going to have all this up on HighNowDaily.com. Brought to you by Nico's Pier 38, Nico's Upstairs, and Nico's Kailua. Aloha my Kako. Thanks for watching the High Now YouTube channel. Hey, do me a favor. While you're here, go ahead, click that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest information about everything going on here in Hawaii. Where to go, what to do, where to eat, and where to shop. And don't forget, we'll see you all at highnowdaily.com.